outermost area of the Sonorosphere. Haskar, are you there? Sorry, Rover. I must go and face him myself. Stop hiding, Haskar. We can talk it out. Through the stars. Reconfiguration. Hey, stop. until his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. up and then spit out some weak frequencies. But this one smells strange. Hmm. 
Was it affected by something else? Bhaskar, it's me, Xiang Li Yao. Do you recognize me? Stay back. The wave warn's coming. Stay away from here. Huh? Didn't he set it off in the first place? Calm down. We are safe here. No wave worn or tacit field around. Nothing's happening to me. See? Xiang Li Yao? Yes, I'm listening. Bhaskar, what do you want me to know? I should have stayed at the academy. Shouldn't have taken anything without permission. But I did it. I figured it all out. The tacit field's frequency. Made a prototype detector, too. It predicts where the tacit fields are forming. I... I should have kept the documents. I should have informed you. I was thrilled. Blinded by the success. But then my prototype. Gone. Everything gone. The margin of error was too big. Not enough time, not enough range. When I got there, the wave worn had already... Oh, I see. So the wave worn had devoured me. And the last person I saw was... You saw me. Yes. Yes, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't trigger the wave worn. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And what else? Pen. Give me a pen. I must write down my research results. I must show you. I need a pen. Hurry. Pascar. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. I identified the tacit field special frequency. I, I never hated you. I just, I wanted to save the world. It's all in vain. Now everyone must see me as the culprit. <laughs> Can't blame you. After what I said, of course you'd... No. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Your research has inspired many. Even attracting interest from the Black Shores, that mysterious organization. They've actually sent one of their consultants to learn about the theory. Even the Black Shores. Their faces couldn't hide the shock. It was truly a sight to behold. Even I burst out laughing. We're still searching for a way to recreate your prototype, but the Pascar Spectrum theory has gained global recognition and is advancing tacit field research. Pascar Spectrum? Yes, it's your theory. We named it after you. Our classmates and I, we found your notes after the Waveworn receded. After filling in the missing information, we restored this theory and named it after you. Really? Yes, and we all know it wasn't your fault. So, my research actually helped others? It did, and it will keep on benefiting people. <sighs> That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. My wish has come true. Thank you, Wishing Tree. Rover, let's witness Pascar's wish together. When I'm older, I'll be the best scientist ever. <laughs> I'll help people and everyone will love me. 
I'll lead the way in making lots of cool discoveries. Pascar, you've been here with us all along. Wow, so that's the real story. We've helped make four wishes come true now. <laughs> or maybe it's actually five. Five? <laughs> but we only have four wish tags here. That must be the exit. Let's get out of here first, Yao. Hey, what did you mean? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Are you all right? It's not uncommon to feel a bit queasy after leaving a Sonaro sphere. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Given the situation is now under control, it should be fine. I will check on Patty, just to be safe. You might need some time alone to process what just happened. Uh, don't worry about me, Rover. I can handle the rest myself. It's just a quick checkup on Patty. Go join the celebration down the mountain. Remember those kids you promised to meet up with? They must be waiting for you. Besides, I need some time to prepare a small gift for you as thanks. I'll uh, catch up with you later. Huh. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. Thanks to you, Jolie and I can restart our tacit Discord research. With our past experience, I'm sure we'll get better results this time. Oh, we've been busy moving the equipment to our new lab. Uh, speaking of that, can you please clean your room? <sighs> Only been a few days, and it's a mess already. Piled high with papers, devices, and takeout. I can't even get in, let alone find what I need. Have you seen Xiang Li Yao's room? It's a perfect example of order out of disorder. I learned it from the genius. And you always find things no matter where I leave them. <laughs> Matt, you know my room better than I do. Well, can't deny it. <laughs> yeah! Our colleagues, your show, organized this event called Swim, Gulp of Swim. We're here to show support. Plus, Shafan never misses tacit Discord events. <laughs> you know me. Shisho's interested in those monsters, too. Should we invite her to join our research? More brains, better ideas. Let's get the creative juices flowing. Thanks. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. But we saw you were busy with something else. So we we followed you up the mountain and saw you chatting with someone. And then, poof, you two just vanished into thin air and tried to ask for help. But all we found was a rabbit robot. Mr. Rabbit said you're tough and will be okay. He told us not to worry about you. But come on, there's no way we wouldn't worry. How can people just disappear? My mom said it only happens in Hero Place. Yeah, we had a plan. If anything went wrong, our boss and Momo would run super fast downhill to get help from the grown-ups. And I'll keep watch in case anything goes down. My eyes don't miss a thing. <laughs> you're welcome. Since you're safe now, can you show us the Hero Play you mentioned earlier? The hero in this video, is that you? His name sounds so familiar. Oh, I know. Grandpa told me you are the hero who saved Jinjo. That's awesome. No wonder you beat that monster with only a few moves. You're a true hero. And the guy fighting with you is incredible. I don't recognize him, but his mecha arm looks so cool. I want to be just like you! But I don't know how to use Forte or what it takes to be a hero. Huh? Despite wanting to go to the Moonlit Fair, 
You chose to stay here and protect us. You walk the walk, sacrificing your own enjoyment for the sake of others. This is exactly what the Flame Ranger would do. I see. Uh, are you saying that we are the Flame Rangers now? Yes. With your swift feet and keen eyes, you'd make a formidable team, ready to face any challenge. Together, just like me and my mecha arm partner. So, I'm a hero now. And I have my hero squad with Lee, Momo, and Mr. Rabbit. The Moon Tree Lodge really made my wish come true. <laughs> Thanks, Rover. Oh my, Taoyun Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. <laughs> I made it! No rush, child. Take a breath. What took you so long, when you? <sighs> Packaging. I wrapped the pastry up to keep the warmth. It'll taste better. Please, have a bite, Mrs. Hoeing. I made this myself. Thank you, dear. Mr. Shoyuan made this pastry for us during previous moon chasing festivals. Yes, I really liked it, so I asked him for the recipe. But my son never learned to cook. When did he make this for you? He learned it in the military. At first, the food he made was, well, average, but he got better over time. He could make a feast out of even the simplest ingredients. That's how good he was. Cooking's not that hard. I can do it too. Shall I make a meal for you when I get some leave, Mrs. Herting? Thank you. Thank you. researcher named Xiao Sheng? I asked around, but no luck. I'm so sorry for being so useless. I I can ask more people if you want. You can pick any of my paintings as an apology. Please choose one. I insist. Really? Phew. That's good to know. I'm painting. Yeah, lots of people. I can see all of Tao Yuan Vale from here. Um, I guess it's everyone down there. I'm not good with people, but their smiles make me feel warm inside, too. It's like when I pick up a paintbrush, the warmth just spreads through me. S stunning! No, you flatter me. It's not that good. Just average. Sorry I kept you waiting, Rover. No worries. Is Patty all right? I found some unusual frequencies inside its body. Not sure if that's the Sonorosphere's influence. Out of safety concerns, I locked it up for the time being. Normally I would, but not this time, because I promised you a gift. Here, please take this. I know you're going to the Moonlit Fair. Here's a camera to capture memories for you to keep. It can be. <laughs> Maybe I should include it in the employee handbook. <laughs> Not yet. 
That's why I'm about to write one. I couldn't have solved this so fast without you by my side. Those wishes were their cries for help. Someone had to act fast and save them, or there could have been severe consequences. Thanks to your help, people can see their wishes come true. The fulfilled wishes bring warmth and comfort to be shared by many more. In the end, the Moon Tree Lodge kept its promise to everyone, including Pascar. What about you? What is your wish? My wish? I haven't really thought about it in a while. But I may already know the answer to your question. It's the same reason I'm taking care of the Moon Tree Lodge. I want to follow in our pioneers' footsteps. Those who forsake everything in pursuit of truth, and those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others. My parents each embodied one path. They were my role models, and I have strived to emulate them both. Their passing left me searching for answers, for a way to find balance between the two. That was why I inherited the Moon Tree Lodge. Still, I've often questioned, how closely should I follow my parents' paths? Should I abandon all social connections in pursuit of the elusive ultimate truth? Like in a certain story. But in the end, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. Because Pascar found me and brought me out of my room. Without him, I never would have known about my father's ties to the Moon Tree Lodge. When Pascar left the Academy, I considered going with him. Perhaps we are the same kind of people after all. I wanted to give up everything for the ultimate truth, but I still craved companionship. That's why I hesitated. Seeking truth can be futile. It's like constantly pushing a boulder uphill, only for the lament to send it back down every time. In this disaster-stricken world, our beliefs, innovations, even entire societies risk falling into oblivion in an instant. Still, someone must push the boulder of curiosity and explore uncharted territories beyond that hill. I've longed to push that boulder, Rover. Perhaps one day, I'll give in to the urge, even if it means leaving everything behind. Because it's there. Hard to resist the temptation when truth feels so close, almost within reach. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. It's all right. You can venture as far as you need to. You'll always return to open arms. The way you've always tried to clear Pascar's name, how he's done his utmost to tell you the truth, that's what we call a human connection. That's why your memory worked as a key in the Sonorosphere. Have more faith in humanity. The hero who pushed the boulder of truth for us all will be remembered, and the bond between people will endure. Because we are here for you, always. Hey, over here! Your friends are calling out to you. Go. Don't keep them waiting. They say some vendors offer discounts to people visiting together. Yes, some of them. Well, come with me then. Make it another perk of working for the Moon Tree Lodge. Uh, but I... You have a promise to keep, remember? Thank you, my friend. Please, 
Please witness the world we've protected on my behalf. Yes, I do. What's up with you two? Come on, let's go! about time. Behold, the Moonlit Fair's final show. Come on, let's all take a picture together. <laughs> <laughs> 